How do Chain Grave Games? Well, I'd say back again for the uh, next couple of issues of Warhammer Stormbringer magazine, but there's been an announcement instead. Um, we are 18 issues into Warhammer Stormbringer magazine. Um, I've covered all 18 that have been released so far. Well, that I've received through the post so far instead. Uh, my next delivery should be any time, which will cover uh, 19, 20, 21, and 22. 19, 20, 21, 22, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, we've already got a bit of the idea of what's coming next with them, if you've looked through my other videos. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll be having a look at what's been revealed. Literally everything's been revealed, unfortunately. Um, I will still be going through the magazines as they come, but there's going to be less of a, uh, you know, ooh, can't wait to see what's coming next kind of vibe to them, because we kind of will know. Um... Apparently there's nothing set in stone, but we've got an idea anyway. We've got we've got an idea what's going to be coming next. Now, we'll scroll down. This is from Fohammer, by the way, who've done the uh the yes, the adverts and everything for this. Go away, man. I do like this website. My only problem with it is the amount of adverts. It's absolutely ridiculous how many adverts you get on this website. So yeah. All the contents have been leaked. Uh, so yeah, uh, we already know for issue 19 we'll be getting Garda Steel Soul, a uh, Stormcast model. We'll get part 1 and 2 of the Marsh Crawler Slogger for issues 20 and 21. And then issue 22 we'll be getting uh, Avalanche Sunset and Griff Charger Grey. Mmm, that paint though. After that... Now, this is where it's going to be all brand new, where we're not sure what's going on. Unless you've looked at Hashit Park Works' uh, website, where they've already kind of revealed uh, what's going to be coming in a few more issues. We'll be getting the Lord Aqualar on his uh, big griffin. Then we'll be getting a Loon Boss, which is a nice little model. And then, I'm pretty sure... It's, oh no, just the fountain for the Azerite Shattered Plaza. Yes, if I remember correctly, this is something we've been shown, but it will just be the uh, the fountain, not the rest of the uh, the scenery, which is a bit of a bummer. But And then after that, another revelation of some paints. Then we'll be getting from issue 27. Now this is where it gets interesting. Issue 27, you'll be getting some Griff Hounds. Then you'll be getting, in issue 27, a new uh, War Underworld, not Warcry, uh, Warhammer Underworlds Warband, who are, sorry, uh, Zarbag's Gits. So a nice little set of models there. So all together you're getting, is that like four Underworld, uh, like, Warbands? So you've got the, you've got Zandia's Truth Seekers, then you've got the, uh, the Cunning Crew, you're gonna be getting these uh, these ones, and oh no, even more, because you're getting I think what you call it the uh, the Caradran Overlords kit that's coming later is a uh, an Underworlds kit as well I think. Not sure. Let's see anyway. So issue twenty nine, you'll be getting some more paints. Lovely. Issue thirty, you'll be getting some more Hobgrot slitters. Uh. But honestly, I'd, I'd have preferred some more uh, Cruel Boys, some more uh, Gut Rippers rather than Hobgrot Slitters. Yeah. Then you'll be in some more, some Vigilors, sorry, not some more. These are the Stormcast Eternals with uh, Bow and Arrow. Then you'll be getting some Shooters for your, uh, your Gits. And then... After all the adverts, you'll be getting a Knight Judicator with Griff Hounds. Which is very nice. That's issue 33 we're on now. So, uh, yeah, it pretty much everything is being confirmed except for what paints you get in the issues. So, issue 34, you're getting paint 1 and 2. Then issue 35, you'll be getting your first 
uh, of the Sylvan Nephew, Droanti the Arch Revenant, or Arch Revenant, however you want to pronounce it. Um, nice little uh, model. And then you get another warband. You're getting. F uh, no, no, you're not. Sorry, you're getting your, uh, your Gits model, Fungoid Cave Shaman, with Snazgar Stink Mullet. Uh, sorry, that he, that's his name, Snazgar Stink Mullet. He doesn't have a stinky mullet. Well, he might do, who knows. Um, then issue 37 is Ilfari's Guardians, and you're getting a uh, a brush as well. You're getting some dry brush for that. Um, then you're getting, in issue 38, some Vindictors. Not Vindicators, some more Vindictors. We've already got some of them, but, uh, you know, a couple more is not so bad, is it? Issue 39, another two paints. You'll see all these paint issues are going to be two each now. So every single paint issue you're going to be losing money on. But you will be getting your money back on other stuff. Like issue 40, halfway through the production of it now, you're getting another big model. This is the Spirit of Durfu for your Sylvan F, uh, who can also be built as a Tree Lord. And that is an absolutely stonking model. Then, that's the second part of Spirit of Durfu in issue 41. Then you'll be getting your next Warbound, Molog's Mob, uh, which is discontinued. So get ready to pre-order this at Forbidden Planet if you want this. Again, like with all the other ones, I'll print the links to Forbidden Planet and uh, places where you can pre-order these things. I mean, if you want to look on the... Uh, if you lose out the chance to pre-order them... You can cancel for free if you're not sure whether they're going to be coming in that magazine, but um, yeah, it's a good idea to pre-order when you get a chance because the, some of these will be flying out. They're very much in a... Well, people want them, don't they? Issue 43, you'll be getting some tree revenants. Uh, and then... Issue 44, you're getting two paints and another brush. Then issue 45, you're getting some fanatics for your uh, Gloom Spike Gits. 46, you're getting a Branch Witch. Uh, and then you're getting issue 47, Realmscape Nexus Siphon. Uh... Another discontinued uh, terrain kit. So again, a lot of these terrain kits seem to be uh, discontinued. Uh, number 48, we're getting Boingrot Bounders. And then 49, you're getting some Spite Revenants. Uh, pretty sure you can also build these as Tree Revenants. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. Uh, issue 50. You're getting another two paints with a Citadel Medium Texture Spreader. So you're getting two paints and a bit of plastic. Brilliant. Uh, issue 51, you're getting a Loon Boss on Giant Cave Squid. It's Squid. Squig, which is a nice chunky model. And then 52 is going to be your first Caradran Overlord kit. You're getting an Endrin Master with a Dirigible Suit. Dirigible? Dirigible? Dirigible Suit. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. Dirigible. Dirigible. Ah, potato, tomato. Um, and then, on to issue 53. You'll get another two paints. Yay! Yeah, stay with my uh, my rundown of the magazines, because I know how everyone loves those uh, paint, paint uh, you know, copies. Issue 54, you'll gain some Sneaky Snufflers, which is some uh, gits with uh, snuffle squigs. Uh, issue 55, you'll be getting a Domicile Shell. Uh, which is more terrain. Issue 56, did I say 56 or 55? 56 next, anyway, is Fundrix Profiteers, some more Caradron Overlords. Uh, but it's another warband. I, I thought you got another warband, which is nice. Um, I've seen a lot of people before the uh, Leagues of Votan came out uh, kitbashing Caradron Overlords into uh, squats. And I still think you'd be able to do that. You know, kind of uh, 
make them into like a, a heavy uh, heavy weapons kind of unit or something like that. Well, I, I guess the uh, the Brockia, uh, the Brockia, no, the Thunderkin. Sorry, the Brockia Ironkin is the character into it with his uh, his little uh, his little AI units all around him. Uh, what I'm thinking of is the Thunderkin with the bigger the kind of exosuits and the the big weapons. Uh, they're really nice models, actually. But I've still got bloody what you call it. I've still got um, leagues of OTAN models I've not painted yet, so not even properly, uh, you know, put together yet. So let's not get too carried away. Anyway, Stormbringer issue fifty-seven. You get a squig herd. Lots of squigs, including a grot being eaten by a squig, um, and a grot with a uh, a squiggy mushroomy uh, bagpipe. Lovely. Uh, issue fifty-eight. If you gain some more paints, brilliant. Issue fifty-nine. You gain Grunstock Thunderers. Some more Caradron Overlords. Issue sixty. You're getting part one of your Eel Guzzler Gargant. So this is definitely a two-issue model at least. Um, but yeah, you're getting a Gargant for under 20 quid, really, which is brilliant. And then after those two issues, you're getting issue 62 is more paints. Issue 63 is an Arcanaut Admiral, so more Caradron. Then issue 54 is Scragagrot the Loon King, which is another nice little character model for your uh, Gloom Spike Gits. Uh, issue 65, the Guardian Idol from the Realmscape Fondian Strongpoint uh, kit again. This is all, like, you know, terrain kits and stuff, but this is a nice-looking kind of statue kind of kit with a, with a wall in the way. Issue 66, you're getting some more paints. Issue 67, you're getting five Vanquishers, some more Stormcast, finally. It's been a while since any Stormcast. So you're getting really a, a smattering of some Sylvaneth in between, including a big massive Sylvaneth model. Um, quite a few Caradron Overlords, except on the opposite scale of things, you're getting a lot of Cavern Caradron Overlord models, but nothing big. Well, you're getting something big for the Sylvaneth, and only a few kind of little little bits. Um, Unless you got the premium subscription, then you get a hell of a lot more for your Caradron Overlords. You get that bigger, big floating ship. But anyway, I digress. These are the Stormcast Vanquishers, who have the uh, the big great blades, uh, sword staff kind of things. Um, then issue sixty eight, you get a Mega Boss, and this is your first Iron Jaws kit. Um, no more cruel boys for now. You're, you're moving on to the other Oryx at the moment. Issue 69. Well, hey. Say no more. Say no more. Uh, you're getting another domicile shell for the uh, Fondian Strong Point. More terrain, in other words. I'll just say terrain in future, shall I? You know, so you don't get overexcited. You know, what's that? What's a, fon what's a, a domicile shell? What's a Fondian Strong Point? It's like, it's terrain. If you're not bothered about terrain... You know, although some people might be uh, quite happy for this, you know, terrain. Because uh, uh, I don't know if you can still get it or not. I'll have to look into it when I do the actual video, when I actually get the magazine. Until then, this is literally a brief rundown of everything you can get in the magazine run. Okay? Now, issue 70. You're getting some Iron Skulls boys. Now that's it. There's there's ten more to go now. Iron Skulls boys. Issue seventy one. Some more paints. Two more. Issue seventy two. You're getting Lord Commander. Is it? I think it's Bastian Carfalos. He's called, which is a big chunky model. Now, even if you don't play Songcaster, Age of Sigmar. I've seen some beautiful conversions of this into Adeptus Custodes for Warhammer 40k. Uh, I think I've even seen someone uh, kitbash this into a uh, a Primarch model, was it? Uh, it was either a Chapter Master or a, uh, a their own Primarch model for their own Space Marine chapter, um, which was nice as well. Anyway, 
on from him. Issue 73, getting some hard boys. Five hard boys. Um, again, you, you could... Usually, you could... What do you call it? The, these are good for Kit Bash potential, even if you're not a massive fan of him. Kit Bash him into what you call it? Uh, knobs for 40k. You know, you've got uh, five hard knobs for you. Then... Issue 74, Guardian Idol, Terrain, Terrain again. Then issue 75, you're getting another Iron Jaws War Chanter, the guy with the uh, the glowy bones. Uh, issue 76, now this, again, people are going to start, you know, whip, catching these up if they can do. Issue 76 is the Storm Drake Guard. Now, this will be over two issues, I think. Uh, but you get dragons, you get Stormcast Riding Dragons. Um, so yeah, that is 76. There's, there's only five left now. 77, you're getting the other Storm Drake Guard, and 78, you're getting Storm Drake Guard as well. So what I said in my video back in the day, that you'll be getting the biggest, best kind of bits in the later issues... I was spot on. I was slightly surprised you got the uh, the Marsh Crawl uh, slog off uh, so early, but but then again, it's going to keep people sweet, isn't it? So now, finally, for issue seventy nine and eighty, you're getting the Swamp Boss Scum Drake, or you know the the big Cruel Boy fella on his bigger uh, his big beastie, and that's going to be over two issues, and that's usually a hell of a lot more. So uh. Yeah, um, unless something else happens, that will be the full 80-issue run of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer. Now, like I say, feel free to uh, keep with my channel, because I will be doing uh, an unbagging of every single issue as I come across them. I've started, I don't want to finish anything too early... I'm on. I'm almost a quarter of a way through it, so it be it seemed to be like a waste to start something and not finishing it. Um, but those are the the reveals for Stormbringer. Like with Imperium, we might have a bit of an upset near the end of the run where they de decide to uh, carry it on for another ten issues. If they do that, I will let you know if there's an update to it, or I'll let you know in my videos. Um, but I don't know. Age of Sigmar doesn't isn't as big as 40k is. So I don't know. I don't know what I'd be able to tell you. But for now, uh that's that. Uh let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe as always. Um much love. I'll see you in a bit.